Poor psychology is the third reason why we are not set up for learning. We are set up for forgetting. 3,000 teachers again. What grade level do you teach? And what percent of the kids love school at your grade level? Kindergarten is what you expect. About 95% of the ki- ki- kindergarten teachers say about 95% of the kids at the end of kindergarten still love school. And then look at grade one. Oops. And grade two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. That's our low point. We have two thirds of the kids, according to the teachers, don't love school anymore. Grade 10, 11, and 12 go up slightly, but never as high as eighth grade. And there's what we've got. Goes from 95% to 37% of the kids, and they added towards true score school. So why? Because no teacher wrote, writes in their lesson plans who they want to discourage today. People aren't doing this on purpose. It's a system, and what is causing that system? It's like at the end of ninth grade, the kids feel like this frog. This is a frog. It got run over by a car. Smoosh. So what's the cause of that loss? It's poor psychology. We've been told from Psych 101 and Education 101, our job as teachers is to motivate the kids to learn. Bad advice. It is not our job to motivate them to learn. Why? It's a crazy statement to make, right? It's not our job to motivate them to learn. Why isn't it? Because they come to us in kindergarten with all the motivation and need for life. Our job is to maintain the motivation they were born with and they still have in kindergarten. We're to find out what's causing them to lose their motivation and stop doing it. You say to a sixth grader who's not happy with your class, why don't you like science? Kid says, I never liked science. You say, not true. You liked everything in kindergarten. Tell me what happened to you. Why did you stop liking science? And the kids will tell you. They'll tell you the grade level and they'll tell you what happened to them. Our job is to be a researcher on what's causing kids to lose their enthusiasm instead of trying to motivate them. How's this working out for you? Not working so well. Tell your neighbor, how many incentives do children receive between kindergarten and 12th grade. Tell your neighbor real fast. And a lot is not a number. Okay, I'll give you my estimate. My estimate is that they're receiving over 10,000 incentives. How do I arrive at that number? Five times a day, times 180 days, Times 13 years is 11,700. If incentives work, we don't need to be here. Just put more money in your incentive budget. It is not working. And so uh, in elementary school, it's stickers, you know, marbles in a jar, erasers, you know, we, pencils, we know that. Middle school and high school, it's food, video, and grades. Okay? And it's not working, folks. They're not accepting our bribes. And when we manage classrooms well, without all of this stuff, we get double the learning. 